Good morning and welcome to Norris Dog Training Company. We are here today with Fred and Jackson and we are going to demonstrate for you all of Jackson's on-leash obedience commands and demonstrate for you how to practice them. First we're going to introduce the training equipment. Fred has a standard six-foot web training leash which he keeps the bulk of in his right hand leaving his left hand free to give any correction on the training collar, which is just a small tug and release. And the training collar is the second piece of equipment. We have fitted Jackson for his very own collar, and we will show you how to properly use it and put it on when you get here this afternoon. As you see, Jackson is seated nicely next to Fred's left leg. That is where all of our obedience begins. The first command being heel, and that command is Jackson, Jackson heel. heel. And they take off healing very nicely. This gives Jackson a job to do keeping him walking nicely with you and automatically sitting every time you stop your feet. This is his job. He's not pulling ahead or falling behind. He's walking very nicely at your pace and sitting every time. Jackson has done a really good job here at school. And this makes walking so much easier. Beautiful auto sit. Nice job. And you can see he's walking very nicely with Fred. Again, another automatic sit. Next command we're going to do is the sit-stay. Fred's he started to lay down, so Fred's going to have him in a sit and then take his left hand, an inch from his muzzle, with the firm word stay. He's going to walk out to the end of his six-foot leash. This is where you want Jackson to hold this, starting out at 15 seconds, working your way all the way up to three minutes. At this point, Fred is going to return to his dog, and he's going to walk behind him as an added distraction. Jackson should stay seated until Fred reaches his left shoulder where he stops and gives Jackson another command. And they take off healing again. Healing makes walking so nice. You can walk down the street and just enjoy your walk with your dog. And doing the obedience gives you quality time with him. He really does enjoy doing it. Nice automatic sit. Good boy. We're gonna demonstrate for you again that sit stay. So automatically stay. he sits. No. Okay, he tried to lay down, so heal him out. Good, stay. stay one inch from his muzzle. Fred again walks out to the end of his six foot leash. Make him hold this. Start out, like I said, at 15 seconds, increasing your time and distance as you practice. If you have a fenced in yard or in your living room, you can practice this right there and eventually drop the leash. At this point, Fred is gonna call him in and that command is Jackson, come. And he's to come in and sit right in front of you. Good job. This prevents jumping on you or your guests. They take off healing again. Everything stops and starts on the left, and everything stops and starts with the command that you give him while he's looking up at you. And he does make good eye contact when he sits. Again, we're gonna demonstrate that sit stay. Good job. Stay. Perfect. Fred walks out to the end of his leash. Raindrop just hit him. <laughs> and at this point, Fred's gonna call him in. Jackson, Jackson come. come. And Jackson comes in and sits beautifully. Yeah. <laughs> good boy they take off again healing. Now it is a little foggy and rainy out here today um, and the raindrops are distracting him a little bit. So the next command we're gonna set up for is the down from heel position. You always start down at the seated position. So Jackson seated, left open palm straight to the ground, down, stay. And then again, like the sit stay, Fred walks out to the end of his leash. Jackson loves to lay flat. At this point, Fred's gonna walk around his dog, getting back to the short left shoulders and his right shoulders, Fred's left leg, and stopping there, Jackson, heel. The down stay, you're gonna start out at 30 seconds, working your way all the way up to five minutes and increasing your distance to eventually being able to be off leash away from him in the other room. Jackson likes to test, so he will try to test you guys, but just stay firm and loving and make sure that he follows the commands as he's been properly taught. Again, automatically seated, firm down to the ground, stay. Fred walks out to the end of the leash. He much prefers the down as to his sit stays. At this point, Fred's gonna call him in. Jackson, come. And Jackson gets up and runs in and sits nicely on the soggy ground. <laughs> We'll show you that come from down one more time. He heals beautifully. That little nub goes crazy every once in a while. It's so great. Again, seated position, down. He likes to kind of lay on your foot, stay. He's a good boy. 
And again, start this out at 30 seconds and work all the way up to five minutes. This can be practiced outside as well as inside as well. Fred's going to call him. Jackson, come. Jackson, Jackson comes in and sits nicely right in front of him. No. Almost sits. And that little tiny correction is all he needs. We have now performed for you all of Jackson's on-leash obedience commands, which we're going to show you when you get here, how to put into your everyday life so you have a well-behaved, well-rounded puppy. We loved having Jackson here at school, and thank you for choosing Nora's Dog Training Company for your dog trainer. Have a great day.